Hi everybody, great to see you again. It has been a few very frustrating days of trying to render videos here. I'm dealing with all kinds of technological problems, but thankfully, at least I hope, the workarounds are working and we can finally get a few more ongoing videos without so much hassle, fingers crossed. At any rate, we have to have a lot of workarounds for our class because of going online and I realize many of you don't have your textbooks where you are and you don't have access to the library for streaming the videos that I have placed on reserve. For that reason, Thank You for Smoking is unfortunately off of our required watching list. If you're interested in public affairs, I do encourage you to seek out that movie. It is a wonderful exploration of ethics in lobbying. It's dark comedy. It's really fun. It's a well-made movie. So I do encourage you to watch it. But because I had to come up with something resilient and quick for us to be able to substitute, I have put in the film Ex Machina, which our library does have available for streaming. I believe it's also available on Netflix. It was the last I checked. And I think it's a really interesting and wonderful ethics movie. If you are interested in lobbying in public affairs, though, and you can't get Thank You for Smoking, there's a few more. Primary Colors, Wag the Dog, and so on. So if you want to substitute your discussion board comments for one of those films, by all means, please do so. Just don't rely on your memory. Make it something that you've watched very recently. So, on that note, tonight is Ex Machina, or whenever you're able to get the stream to actually watch the film. Hopefully, it's going to be soon. I think this is a wonderful exploration of the ethics of artificial intelligence. And it's not boring like the old movie AI that was four hours long. This is actually a thriller, sort of a, a, an interesting, dark comedy, a social commentary, dystopian sci-fi, but it's also very sexy and a thriller. So it's not boring like some of the other AI movies. So what I would like you to do is take a look at the movie. I'm not going to give any spoilers here. And I'm going to ask a few questions on the discussion board. There are no right or wrong answers, it's just discussion. So I want you to think about these questions, hopefully before you watch the film. If not, then definitely for your discussion board post. But it's just three quick things. The first is, what concerned you the most about Ava? Ava is the AI, as you will soon see. Second, can AI be held to the same moral standards as human beings or should there be different standards? And if those standards are different, what should they be? And then finally, the third question. Do AI machines warrant your trust? Do they need to do something more to earn your trust? Now, I think I'm from the Terminator generation. I don't know if you've seen the Terminator, but I think we all have a relatively healthy distrust of AI. But thinking longer term, how could ethics be used to help artificial intelligence become something that we can trust? Because AI is all around us. It's around you right now. And unfortunately, it's inescapable. Um, for example, there are many apps that track your location. And it's not just Google location. You might think you can turn that off and be relatively anonymous, but there are store apps that track your location, fast food apps, delivery apps, all of these are on your phone. And AI is tracking you all the time. There's actually already an online map that shows by people's cell phone location who is staying home during the COVID virus epidemic and who is not. So, it gives you an idea of the level of tracking, and we know that South Carolina is doing a pretty good job of sheltering in place. Wyoming is not. But can you use that information to single people out? For example, if I was using artificial intelligence for an insurance company, and I had a lot of claims from Wyoming, I might say to those claimants, sorry, 
You were warned to stay in your house. Our records show that your cell phone left the house 16 times during the last month. Therefore, you knowingly exposed yourself to coronavirus and we will not cover your medical treatment. Very scary thought, right? But it could happen and AI can be used in many different ways. So that's just an example for you to think about before you watch the film tonight or over the next few days. I do hope that you have no problem streaming the film and that you enjoy it. I'm sorry we couldn't get Thank You for Smoking streaming access. It really is a wonderful film. I encourage you to watch it. Um, in addition, just so that you'll have a little backup reading, because I know many of you don't have a textbook, there's a lot on the ethics of artificial intelligence on my faculty homepage for the School of Journalism and Mass Communication where it says PR Pros. So I can click on a few things that show you here. Um, AI Revolution and Selfishness. This is an article that talks about how machine learning makes decisions. The Uber car plowing down an innocent civilian with a bicycle. Here's one on nanotechnology. If you don't know what nanotechnology is, you probably should. Um, and then here's one on neuroethics. This is probably most germane to the film that we're watching in Ex Machina. So at any rate, those articles on my faculty homepage at the School of Journalism site will give you a little backup reading so that you don't feel like you're entering the discussion board post without any knowledge. Although, I do encourage you to just put your opinions out there, be courageous, and enjoy this assignment. It's meant to keep us learning and hopefully to have some fun exploring new boundaries and wondering what will happen if artificial intelligence becomes self-aware. Great question for the future, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!